I've, I've, uh, <laughs> I've always believed that a uh, uh, wiper leader Kalonzo Msioka will end up in in uh, Kenya. <laughs> I've always believed that all through. Yes. So it did come to me as a shocker when he he appeared in the event, but. Uh, what is of more importance is the fact that this is not a Kenya Kwanza event. This is a Kenya yes. event. Mm-hmm. And anyone, whether Raila Odinga, whoever it is, has a right and must, it's good to attend such events. Mm-hmm. I do believe uh, the invitation was sent to uh, Azimio. And uh, Alonzo Sioka is the one who represented the Azimio the one in the coalition. Yes. And so I don't want to look at it as a, on the politics side, <laughs> because if we now politically look at the whole scenario, we are seeing Kalonzo Musioka joining the government very soon and being assigned some tasks here and there, mm-hmm. perhaps maybe to help on Salem Davadi in the crime in railways, Lechini maybe, <laughs> but now on the on the constitutional side, this is a constitutional event. It, it does not belong to William Ruto, it doesn't belong to Kachagua, not Kenya Kwanza. With or without Kenya Kwanza, Mashuja Day must be there. Yeah. And it belongs to Kenyans. And every Kenyan must actually celebrate. The question would be, is there something to celebrate about? Is there something, are there people to fit or to, you know, celebrate? Yeah. That is the most important thing. And if there's somebody to celebrate, if there's something to celebrate, the fact that we've come from every Kenyan is allowed to.